everybody, welcome back to Parsniffs and Parsimony. Today's video is going to be how YouTube changed our lives, particularly my life. If you watched my video from a couple days ago, our Hobby Lobby video with a mini haul in it, you knew that I purchased a brand new journal for myself and there I told you a little bit, a little story about uh, why I started journaling and that story around that. I want to jump back to that time frame and just give a little bit of a before my life, before I started YouTube and what my life was like then. And then I wanna talk a little bit about how my life changed. So back five years ago, we're going almost six years ago now, um, <clears throat> I had Mary. Mary was a very challenging baby. She was very um, sensitive to heat, sensations around her, her hearing, all of that made for her to be a more challenging baby. You would probably even label her as colicky. And so that meant not a lot of sleep for this mom. I was struggling because she was baby number five. There's a whole lot of adjustment that goes along with as you're growing your family to how do I get everything done? How do I homeschool? How do, I mean, just how do you do all that? And then a few months after, actually, when Mary was a baby, when Mary was a baby, my great aunt was, we ended up moving her to an assisted living facility, which that was like a big deal. We had to, you know, liquidate her estate. We had to uh, move, sell her home, move her into a facility. There was just a lot that went around that um, just before Let's see, no, a year prior to that, she had actually been living with us. So there was a lot that was going on in our lives at the time. And then that November, my grandmother was diagnosed with uh, ALS. For those of you who don't know what ALS is, it's Lou Gehrig's disease. It's um, a disease that affects you by slowly paralyzing um, different systems, nervous systems primarily. So it's a very, very sad disease if you're not familiar with it. And so she was diagnosed with that actually the week of Thanksgiving. Oh, again, a lot of emotions. I had a very hard baby. We already moved my great aunt to an assisted living facility. My grandma was diagnosed with ALS. It seemed to be progressing very quickly. So, you know, perfect storm here. Um, a couple months later, my grandmother passed away. She was a huge part of my life. And so there was a lot of emotions with that. I still had a very challenging baby. I was not sleeping much and life was really, really tough. So because of all those circumstances, it actually took my immunity, my overall health <laughs> to a point where I was really, really sick. I don't know if Art have, has ever mentioned this, but he actually kept a journal I did not know he was doing this. For an entire year, he marked in the journal whether I had a good day, a so-so day, or a bad day. And I don't remember what his results were, but it was, it was some outrageous number. I had more bad days than I had good days. And so that led to me being on, um, ended up taking prednisone, which if you guys aren't familiar with prednisone, it's a really, it's a life-saving drug, but it's also a very awful drug all at the same time. And I reacted very poorly to it. And not only did I end up on it once, I ended up on it twice, which <laughs> needless to say, it threw my health from being bad to even worse. And mentally, I was really, really struggling. It was a very um, dark time in my life, just, you know, losing my grandmother and not feeling well and having this baby who just was constantly crying and there was nothing I could do to make her happy. And so that May, I said to Art, I'm going to, I'm creating a YouTube channel because I need something to do. I need to find some creative outlet in my life to push me beyond just feeling um, this very overwhelming sadness over the loss of a grandparent. And so I started YouTube. I had a channel and I thought, you know, maybe I want to be a daily vlogger. You know? So I decided that every day in the month of May, I was going to do a vlog or a video and see how it goes. And we did that. I did it. It was primarily me. 
I'll see if I can find some old video clips. If not, you can actually go back to those original videos. Boy, was were those some rough videos. I had no idea. I never used a camera before. I wasn't familiar with editing, none of that. I just like, okay, this is what you did. And I didn't even watch YouTube that much. Those were the days, right? And we continued on kind of dabbling. I wouldn't say we were daily vloggers, but we vlogged and we just sort of dabbled in it. And then we decided, you know, this is something we want to do a little bit more of. So that's sort of why I started my YouTube channel, how I got started with it. What are some of the things that YouTube has done for our family or how it's changed me? One of, one of the ways that it changed us and it changed us very quickly was our parenting style. And that was because when we filmed, particularly those first couple months, we filmed everything. We just, we didn't know what we were doing, so we filmed everything. And we filmed the good and the not so good. And we were editing, we'd go back at night, we'd edit our videos, and we went, oh, we said some pretty not so nice things to our kids. The tone of our voices, I mean, we would never say that to somebody else's kids. Why would we say it to our kids? And it was like smack, reality, right in our face that we were doing things, um, just our, it was primarily our tone or impatience with our children that it really, it hit hard. And so that was like one of the first things that our lives changed really quickly is we did not want our children to always remember us like that. We wanted to be positive parents. We wanted to be encouraging and inspiring to our children and not those parents that are constantly saying, no, go away, let me go do my own thing or here, watch TV or do this. You know, we really want to be hands-on. So seeing that, filming that and seeing that was really a big dose of reality. The other aspect that YouTube has changed in our lives, it's in, it has improved our public speaking. For you guys who haven't ever filmed yourself, you probably never realized how many times you fill in sentences with filler words. Now I talked to Art about this because this was a big one for both of us. We never realized how many times, for me, I usually say, so. And he likes to the word, use the word and. I think it was and or then. Anyways, we have a whole list of filler words that we're all guilty of. Like, um, ah, uh, just, okay, so, then, all right. Maybe it was all right was the one that Art uses all the time, and. Those are just filler words. We feel like we need to fill the silence of a video with a and or um or like. But really, when you put a video together, if you have all those filler words, it really is it's not a clean video. And it doesn't sound good. And so that's one way YouTube has improved our public speaking ability is making us more, um, what's the word, introspective about what we're saying. We're more aware of what we're saying. And realize you don't need to fill every space with a filler word there can be silence. So that was, there we go again. So <laughs> that's made a big change in our public speaking ability. Anytime you put yourself out there in a public realm, you certainly open yourself up to other people's opinions and ideas, and you realize that you are not the biggest fish in the sea. You're actually a really small, tiny part. And that really keeps you up. Uh, for lack of a better word, very humble because you're going to have to make decisions that are right for you and you're going to have people that are going to disagree with you. And it just, it really keeps you, it keeps you on a humble platform. So there we go again. <laughs> we really, you really, you have to be committed to what you're doing and that it's right for you. Because if you're going to try to do something to please everyone else, you're going to be a very unhappy person. One of those things that we had to learn through YouTube is we have to do what works for us and that's just how it has to be. One of the positive aspects, not that all of these aren't positive things, but one of the po really positive aspects of doing YouTube is we have made so many new friends, like-minded friends, people that we would have never, ever, ever in a million life lifetimes ever been able to meet these people or 
um, chat with them online. And that has, to me, been such a blessing to be able to get outside of my circle and to meet other people out there. And it's been a wonderful thing. So that's definitely one of the positive sides of having a YouTube channel. One question that I'm sure many of you are wondering is what about the financial aspect of YouTube? And let me just tell you this. We probably might, might make minimum wage for the work and effort that we put into these videos. What we do here on YouTube is because it's something that I enjoy. I like meeting other people. I want to inspire my viewers. One of the things I want for our channel is to be able to inspire other people to be better people. And I don't do this for the financial gain. Yes, we do receive a little bit of monetary compensation for what we do, but it's barely enough to even make it even close to remotely worth it. I'd be so much better doing something else than YouTube. You know, some people think that, oh, you're on YouTube, you must make a ton of money. No, you don't. YouTube is like a job. Right now, we might, might make minimum wage. And that's okay, because we aren't doing this for a job. It's something that I like to do. I love interacting with all of you guys. And from this list of things of how YouTube has changed my life, it's been a wonderful tool for me to improve our lives. And for that, I will always be thankful for because I never realized my tone with my kids or how I interacted with them until I actually saw the ugly reality that I wasn't being kind. I wasn't using a po the positive affirmations with them. And that to me has been the hugest blessing of YouTube. So if you're interested in starting your own channel, there's a lot of positive aspects to it, but be prepared. There are definitely some not so positive aspects to it. Definitely some room for some personal growth. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe for more content like this and others. Have a great day wherever you are and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.